I wish I could be with you in person to communicate my pride and joy at being associated with the epical journey of the Voyagers 1 and 2, celebrating the launch some 35 years ago of Voyager 1, standing next to this model at JPL and remembering all of the planetary encounters along the way, all those milestones, knowing that Voyager has exceeded the design specifications of the brilliant scientists and engineers who worked on this project in every way, knowing that it will soon tell us the very shape and contour of our solar system as it moves through space, and that it will begin the third phase of its mission, the journey across interstellar space for perhaps a thousand million years. Having anything to do with this project is a signal honor. And I'm so proud that my colleagues and I were able to send a message to the most distant future about who we were in the beautiful spring of 1977, about our hopes, the music we made, the sounds we made, what we looked like, who we shared this planet with. I think it's great that you have joined together today to celebrate this signal achievement of the human species. And when I say that, I mean the spacecraft itself and its great journey of exploration. We can do great things together. Our science and our technology need not be a gun aimed at our heads. It can be future oriented. It can be filled not only with our rigorous mathematical and scientific and engineering skills, but also with the music we make and our deepest feelings. I'd like to conclude by asking you all to remember the great Carl Sagan, who participated in every aspect of this mission and who, in many respects, was that place where our science and our souls, our feelings, and our capacity to grasp our tininess in this cosmos met in one human being of surpassing genius and goodness. I'd like to remember Carl today on this 35th anniversary and say, go Voyager, go Planetary Society, exciting and awakening multitudes to the glory of life in the cosmos. Thank you.